training optometrist from National University of Malaysia. In this video, we are going to talk about both four dot tests. First of all, we have to know about the purpose. Both four dot test is to detect suppression, diplopia, and type of deviation. The handheld both four dot test flashlight is also used to detect the central suppression scotoma. Let's get introduced with the instrument. This is the red green goggles. And this is the handheld wood for dog test flashlight. And this is the wood for dog test for distance. Illuminated box or flashlight, depending whether test is performed at distance or near, is composed of four lights which are arranged in a diamond formation. One red light is always at the top, two green lights at either side, left and right, and one white light is always at the bottom. The patient uses the target through red and green filter. The left picture shows the distance target for wood for dot test. The right picture shows the near target for worth for dot test. Hi, my name is Maria and today I will, I will demonstrate on how to perform a worth for dot test at distance and near. When testing at distance, make sure a patient is seated at 6 meters from the worth dot. Then, make sure a patient wears their correction if present. Let the patient wear their red-green goggles over the correction with the red filter placed on the right eye and the green filter placed on the left eye. Can you please wear those goggles for me? When performing this test, we must make we must make the room dim and then open the word full dot. Okay, then ask the patient how many dots can they see? How many dots can you see? Four. Four. Okay. The same procedure is applied when testing at near, except that this flashlight is held at cm in front of the patient. Okay. Then ask the patient again how many dots can you see? Okay. A pediatric flashlight can be used for children when testing at near. This flashlight shows an image of an elephant, a girl, and a ball as their target. However, children who cannot respond verbally can be asked to touch the dots to indicate the number seen, and touching 4 indicates normal flat fusion. These are the possible patient response to the word for light test. If 4 dots are seen, this generally indicates that the patient has normal flat fusion and no suppression. The response can be checked by asking how many red dots and green dots can you see. Normally, patients will see 1 red, 2 green, and one yellow dot. The white dot may appear yellow or alternate between red and green due to retinal rivalry. If two dots are seen, this indicates suppression of the left eye. If three dots are seen, this indicates suppression of the right eye. When five dots are seen, this indicates diplopia. The right eye will see two red dots left eye will see three green dots. Ask the patient to indicate where the red dots are in relation to the green ones. If the red dots are to the right of the green dots, this indicates uncrossophobia or ESO deviation. If the red dots are to the left of the green dots, this indicates cross diplopia or exo deviation. Hi, I'm Katrin. So I'm going to demonstrate central suppression scotoma test 
and the test can only be done if the patient have a normal flat fusion. So first of, first of all, you need to make sure the room is dim. Okay, so uh, the patient is needed to weigh the reflective correction and you have to let the patient weigh the red green googles over the reflective correction. So make sure the right the red filter is placed on the right side of the eye and the green filter is placed on the left side of the eyes. Can you wait this for me? Okay, so the, this test we are going to use Wolf for Dog flashlight. And uh, the flashlight is basically the same with the distant Wolf for Dog test. And first of all, we have to place the flashlight at the distance of 40 cm in front of the patient's eyes. So you have to make your patient to inform you if they can, if they see different number of dots when you remove the flashlight away from them. So can you inform me when you see different dots? Okay. Yes. Okay, so to get the result, you have to measure the distance between the patient eye and the flashlight. Thank you. There's a do and don'ts for this test to get accurate result. First, make sure the light is dim. Hold the wall for dot at a correct distance. Do not test the patient with unaided or poor vision acuity because it will affect the result. Do not test red and green color defect patient because they cannot accurately perform the test. Do not assume the absence of suppression. Confirm the presence of steropsis. Do not let the patient see the four dot stimulus before putting the red greens back on.